So friends, now we have seen the forms of past perfect, negative, distribution, the negative uh, forms, we did an exercise on that. And now the most important and the next step, so to say, is yes or no questions. This is how we are learning tenses now. To start with the form, distribution, negative, yes or no, WH question, then you have got the passive, active passive and uses. So this is seven steps to tense study. Seven steps. Okay. So now he comes and we have a sentence like this. He had, he had, he had passed the exam. Suppose you have sentence. You remember that uh, the way, the simple way to make question yes or no question is inversion. That means take the verb, part of the verb, the beginning of the sentence, and then uh, see example will be better in stop my disk. Had he see that? Had he passed the examination? So here what happened is that you change the position. When you have two parts, take the first part and put it in front of the subject of the sentence. Had he passed the examination? Very simple. So try a few more sentences. He had studied well. He had studied well. The yes or no question will be. Had he, had he studied well? Yes, had he studied well? Alright? Oh, let us see some more. Uh, boys had, uh, they had become boisterous. Boisterous means noisy. So then he said, had boys, had boys, had boys become boisterous. So question now, boisterous. Had, had boys become boisterous. Like, that, like this. Or you can say, other examples. What are the, what, the other examples? More examples you can have? Uh, that is, let's just take half a dozen sentences and see how can we convert them into yes or no questions all right half a dozen one sentence one we do a short exercise sentence one they had they had prepared well prepared well second uh, she had cooked uh, she had cooked meals. Third sentence. People had. People had. Brought. Everything. Everything. Fourth sentence. Students. Had. Worked. Hard. Fifth sentence, uh, many people had suffered, many people had suffered. And sixth sentence, uh, he had climbed the hill, he had climbed the hill. Now what will be the yes or no question? Very simple. We will say like this. Had, had they prepared well? One. Had she cooked meals? Two. Had people got everything? Question mark. Had students worked hard? Question mark. 
had many people suffered question mark had he climbed the hill question mark that's all so when you have got <coughs> more than <coughs> two parts for a verb take the first part and bring it place it in front of the sentence means start the sentence with the first part of the verb simply start the sentence with the first part of the verb then you will get the yes no question you can try this start with the <coughs> statements then make them negatives after that you make questions yes or no questions very simple tense this is a very simple tense nothing to worry about the distribution for first second third similar plural, plural forms are the same therefore you can try it. make simple sentences like this then you have two or three teams one team will you have a team or sides for example this side will make the sentences that side will make the yes or no question after sunday this side will make sentences and that's this side will make a uh, yes or no question and read out loudly reading out loudly is the first step to fluency fluency understand so bye have a nice day